Political leaders across the New England are banding together to find a solution to staff shortages at local hospitals. But while regular communication is on the agenda, the nurses' union says staff shortages won't be addressed without a pay rise. It's been described by staff as a crippled health system, and the union says health workers are disenfranchised. Australia trains more nurses per head of population than anywhere else in the world, and yet we have a shortfall. The union says severe nursing shortages across the New England and Northwest are a symptom of poor pay. It's now campaigning for a pay rise. The 15% will bring us almost into line with our first year graduate nurses um, across the border in Queensland. The union says there is an exodus of burnt out nurses retiring or fleeing to Queensland. Fight, fight, fight! Hoping to cure their pain, Northern Tablelands MP Brendan Moylan, meeting with Hunter New England Health and securing a monthly all-in between senior health executives and local leaders. It's probably easiest for myself and all of the mayors just to stand on the sideline uh, and throw mud, but that doesn't fix the problem. Another of the region's biggest institutions is hoping it can play a role in the long-term solution. But if we can train them, retain them within our, our region, um, I think that that would be a, a real positive. Hunter New England Health telling NBN News it supports nurses through rural incentive programs, scholarships and development pathways. But unions and hospital staff say there's no silver bullet for resuscitating the health system. Enrolments in nursing are down and that's because to do a three-year degree and incur a head debt and do the placements that are largely unpaid, uh, it's not worthwhile becoming a nurse at the moment. Gabriella Warner, NBN News.